I've made the most grievous mistake. I've shaved! <laughs> anyway, yeah. The heat wave that I mentioned a couple episodes ago has unfortunately persisted, at least to the time of recording. Anyway, welcome back to Cops Party. We're picking up from where we left off last time. Now, a little recap. We abandoned Yuka, the little sister, and we found Naomi, the lassie that the boy has a crush on, literally in... Well, we found her in a single episode and, well, we're already abandoning, abandoning her. Literally, like, just that. Good to know he really cared. Just gonna check up here to see if there's any new little bits of speech that you'll have. You can. Oh. He doesn't say anything about that. It's the body of Psycho Shinohara. Her neck has been squeezed into an hourglass shape with a deep crimson rope burn at its centre. Shinohara, there's no longer anyone in the stall. Oh, he can't walk over that. Curious. Oh well, probably would have just slipped anyway. The walkway was just at the bottom of these stairs, to the right. Right, I'm just going to do a quick cut if I can't find anything in the rest of the building. Hey, there's an item! Someone's cell phone is lying on the ground. Pick it up. Okay. Acquired Psycho's cell phone. This is Shinohara's, isn't it? Psycho seems to have been in the middle of texting someone when she dropped her phone. The text entry is still... Yeah, the text entry window is still open. While confirming the phone's owner, Satoshi wound up inadvertently reading the whole thing. Shinohara. I'm sorry, Shinohara. I really didn't mean to. I don't think Naomi should see this. Not now, at any rate. We'll just say this is the second time I'm recording this, the first time I'd accidentally left the voice pitch on for pretty much the whole video. And I'd accident because I'd accidentally saved it as part of the effect. I forgot to disable it when I saved, is what I'm saying, and it fucked things up. So, I'm gonna try and act surprised, but I have some idea of what will be going on for the next 40 or so minutes. Just a heads up. It's not here. Why? Why is there a wall here? There's a whole other building. What the fuck is going on? Yuka! Yuka! Why must you torment me like this? Zami! The sign said elementary school students couldn't buy them without students' permission. But they sold me a hamster anyway. It was only 540 yen. <laughs> Didn't I tell you? Their lives aren't worth much at all. What? Oh, nothing. So, what are we going to do with it? <laughs> Look how cute he is. You want to take care of him? You're kidding, right? That stinky thing. Huh? So, what then? Something really special. Wait till you see it. It's like nothing else. The end of a life. The very moment of death. Come on, give it here. This box cutter should do the trick. <laughs> what? Be stupid! Why would you do that? Watch closely now. <laughs> Ah! Yeah! The fuck you think you're doing? Eh! It's... Kizami's sister! Nothing. Don't you nothing me, you wee shite! You got a knife and an animal in your hands! Yeah, but I didn't do anything yet. So I'm not wrong when I say it's nothing now, am I? Stupid bitch. Are you for real? You realise that no one likes a smart arse, right? 
You better kill that sass mouth of yours or it'll grow up, or you'll grow up for good for nothing something or other. Uh, Kazumi, give him here. I'll take care of the little guy myself, okay? Okay? See you tomorrow. <coughs> Swear. Don't know how you can put up I don't know how he can put up with you. Just shut the fuck up already. Why did I have to be the youngest anyway? If I had a wee brother of my own, I'd love the shit out of him. Sure as hell wouldn't be like my goddamn holier than now, sister. I'm a fucked up retard of a brother. I'd listen to the little tyke. If I had a little sister of my own. <laughs> 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 What's the matter? <clears throat> What's the matter, Yuka? <laughs> hmm? What the hell? Who did this? Or did they do it themselves? We can move. Virtually coated with... It's virtually coated in some sort of unidentifiable mucus. There's a compact mirror here with Sticky, bloody handprints all over it. Seems like a pretty modern design. Similar to a lot of... Similar to what a lot of girls in my class use. After being trapped in here for a while, I wonder how the owner's face must have looked the last time she took this thing out. The white ceramic basin has a whole lot of a red. Dried bloodstains all over it. Then they wouldn't be red if they're dried, you fool, they'd be brun. The body inside is too near the stall door. Every time you try to open it, it just slams into the corpse and bounces closed. That's quite a stink. Same. Yep. There's a student ID name tag on the floor outside. As I mentioned, I'd already gone through these bits before, which is why it's not showing up the student ID name tag things in the top right. A great many lives ended in this room. Yuka, with all the bodies in there, you'll never be able to relieve yourself. <laughs> well then... <laughs> Shall we be off? My dear little sister. <laughs> Sure is cold. Where did Miss Chishoro and Kishinuma go, anyway? Don't leave me by myself. I'm scared, you know? Maybe I should try going back to room 1A. If I stay in this other school building for too long, my head's gonna really start pounding. Uh. 
<laughs> the phone sound. She's running off to answer the phone. The ultimate mystery. Oh, no more. Red dress. Her photo was in the article. So I guess she's one of the victims. Right. Treat tomorrow like a certainty. If you're alive now, trust that you'll still be alive then. If I recall, it's Tachibana's turn for day duty tomorrow. I want to go back to class. I hate the idea that I might not be able to ever again. I swear, I'll take my schoolwork more seriously from now on. Uh, judging by the size, these appear to be the remains of a junior or senior high school student. Try going back. Let's not go that way. The air. It's so heavy it makes my ears ring. Need to head back to class 1A before going any further. Just to check in. Interesting. Oh. Had to stop for the music, of course. Now, first of all, we'll check up here because it's a dead end. So it's good to find things that wouldn't be there otherwise. And yeah, he knocked the door down when he came out there, didn't he? Dull. We'll save first. Huh? But why is my candle here? I'm so sure I left it outside in the hallway. Someone move it? Right. You can see as far as I got last time. The antique doll you threw down earlier is still lying here. Pick it up. Okay. Acquired antique doll. Again. There's a torn piece of newspaper on the ground. Looks like the top half of an article. Let's read it! Tenjin Public Relations The Light and Dark Sides of Heavenly Host Elementary School's Principal Takamine Yagana Yanagahori Ground was broken for Tenjin's Municipal Heavenly Host Elementary School building in 1952. It quickly became a source of pride for the town, as no elementary school had stood within Tenjin's borders at all prior to its construction. Primary schoolers had previously been commuting to neighbouring towns for class. So for them in particular, Heavenly Host was truly a godsend. I need a drink again. The coveted position of principal for this new learning institution was awarded to a man named Takamai Nyanagohori. Nyanagohori quickly became popular among the locals for his charismatic personality, his work ethic, and his fun but fair school policies. Registration and attendance soared well beyond the school's capacity, necessitating frequent desk and chair reorders and even general building expansion. Essentially, due to Yanagohori's unwavering dedication, Heavenly Host became a cornerstone of life within the humble town of Tenjin. But all that began to change on the dawn of one fateful day, with an incident that would set the stage for Heavenly Host's rapid fall from grace. We forgot to print the text, unfortunately. The newspaper is torn at this point. The bottom half of the article is missing. Oh well. Oh. This is new. First time I was recording this, I actually forgot to check here. Monthly goal. How to remove a tongue. Part 2. Draft. Cut the tongue with a pair of big scissors. It's so thick and warm. But how will you know whose tongue it is later when you have a bunch more? Simple. Label it with a name tag. The tongue is very tender and squishy, so stick the safety pin in deep to keep the label from slipping away. You feel that slight sting? Yeah, 
Yeah, just imagine. Cutting the tongue. Lovely, isn't it? Oh. There's a spirit here. Back away slowly. Ah, fuck that. You wanna chat, mate? We're up on the bed! <laughs> Party time! Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's got blood on the backside of her. Anyway. <laughs> Stop! He can't let his gaze meet yours! Damn it. Talk to me! Fine. Let's do it. He, he, he's staring right at ah. The deep black er iris of the boy spirit's left eye transfixes Ayumi's gaze. It begins slowly expanding in size. Uh, I can't. My body. The boy's iris continues to grow, slowly and methodically enveloping a Yumi, until only darkness remains. The world vanishes into nothingness, as the soulless muscle becomes an all encompassing void, blotting out all of existence. Suddenly, in the distance, a tiny white face breaks through the darkness, shining with its own unnatural light. No, no, please, no, no, I'm so scared, please. The face seems distorted, as if being viewed through water. Its expression shifts and wobbles for a bit, till finally, with some effort, the image clears. You've seen this face before. Someone, someone, please help! Hey! Take a second. Okay. <laughs> okay. So at this point, even though I've only got one video's worth of footage, I've gone through the process that I would have for recording three now, so my voice is already starting to get a wee bit hoarse. So I didn't care if I'm gonna record the next if I'm gonna record next week at next week's episode just yet, maybe leave it until tomorrow or something. I didn't get in yet. Either way, thank you very much for watching. You've been a beautiful audience. This has been Carp's Party. I have been Wakila, and until next weekend, goodbye. <laughs>